What, what would you say is your biggest problem when it comes to dating? Honestly, Steve, I just feel like I give everything to this relationship and get nothing in return. I cook, I clean, I send out the Christmas cards, I wash the sheets after we make love. I haven't even been complimented in over six months. They are the most fascinating creatures. I mean, not really, though. <laughs> he just sits on the speaker all day like a lazy prick and insults me nonstop. You definitely should have been aborted. You see what I mean? You got a really nice smile. You got really nice dimples. <laughs> you see? A little compliment can go a long way, Nigel. You could learn a thing or two from Steve Harvey. <laughs> You're the actual definition of a cock. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Family Feud. My name is Leon Lush, and can I just tell you how much blood has flown down to my nether regions because of your decision to generously share some of your time here with me today? It's like rigor mortis. I can't even control it, but it's starting to get painful. Something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. Rob! Ducky Grandma! And I'm just teasing. This doesn't have anything to do with Family Feud because who knew that Steve Harvey had his own television show. In order to help these guys out, I, I got to see them in action first. I haven't seen this yet, but what I did was I found three ladies willing to participate in a little experiment. I mean, you can jump down my throat if you think this is common knowledge, but I, I don't watch daytime television at all. I'm not a loser. I'm dead serious. Give me the name of one network television show that's on before 8 p.m. that is an absolute bollocks. I'll wait for your answer. You can't do it because they don't exist. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that his TV show may have been canceled even, but fortunately for us, a lot of these daytime television shows are syndicated to YouTube with all of these clips from the show, and it gives us ample opportunity to, uh, to watch some of these clips together. I feel like I just don't understand the female protocol. You what? I don't understand the protocol of women, of dating. I feel like I'm a Samsung trying to get into an iPhone plug. I just don't understand it. You see what I mean? These clips are just magnificent. I mean, you grab these three dudes who have never seen a naked woman outside of their web browser. You get them on the Steve Harvey show. You get Steve to teach them how to swoon these ladies back to the crib so they can give them a little tour of their anime collection before laying some nerd pipe. It's magnificent. What, what, uh, what about you, Charlie? I just, I can't read girls. I don't know what they're thinking or, and then I overthink what they may be thinking and it just, it goes south quick. Okay, let, let me help you with something. Time out, Steve, I got this one. Charlie, listen, what you gotta do is learn how to turn your swagger up to an 11. And fortunately, my friend, I have just the thing for you because today's video is sponsored by Dollar Shave Club. Now, if you're a Leon Lush veteran, you know that I've been working with Dollar Shave Club for quite some time, and not only do I use and stand by their products, but I also appreciate them as a company because they support YouTubers like myself while allowing me to be myself um, while I'm doing these integrations, and not a lot of companies do that. Now, I'm sure by now you know they offer really quality razors and shaving products, but what you may not have known is they also have a whole line of products to help you stay fresh. Oral care products, hair styling products, shower products, butt wipes, skin products, they have it all, man, and it's all delivered to your doorstep at an affordable price. Right now, they're offering their shave, shower, and oral care starter sets for just $5 each. The shave kit includes their executive razor with backup cartridges and the Dr. Carver shave butter. Now, I personally use these products to do my lineups, and I think they're fantastic, and I'm not just saying that because they're paying me. I actually use them, and I love them. They also recently sent me their oral care starter kit featuring their Superba toothbrush and peppermint kick toothpaste, which left my mouth feeling fresh as a motherfucker after using. So the products are great. You never run out because you decide how often they send you refills and the more you buy, the more you save. You can join the club today with one of their starter sets for just $5. After that, the restock box ships regular size products at a regular price. This offer is available for you guys through my link, dollarshaveclub.com forward slash Leon Lush, which you can find in the description down below or in the pinned comment at the top of the comment section. Thank you guys so much for listening. I appreciate you. Naked Grandma! Now you may know Steve is the overly dramatic family feud host Potato! <laughs> or the guy who announced the wrong winner at the 2015 Miss Universe pageant. Columbia! I have to apologize. But according to the description here, he's also a chief love officer. Uh, who's gonna help these guys out with the girls, but before he does, he's gonna make sure, he's gonna have to just to see how bad their game really is. 
Do you mind if I take off your glasses to get around your ears? Oh, wow. Yeah, they're dirty. Do you think I could pull these off? Um, I don't, probably better without them. These glasses are so dirty, Nigel. Do you think I could pull these off, though? You weigh a thousand pounds. Oh. What are you playing? This is just a silly trivia game. I don't know trivia, so does that mean like you wouldn't date someone like me? It probably brings you down like from a seven to a four. So, somewhere oh. around there. <laughs> Oh, man, the brass balls on this guy. Breaking off the cute hairstylist with a hard seven, then immediately docking her three points for a lack of trivia knowledge? This guy is a stone-cold killer. <laughs> How old did you say you were? I'm 37. So I'm 24. Would that make me, like, an option? Um, I just need a lot more data before I can make a decision like that, you know? You just can't make a decision without all the data. Sure, she's a young, cute hairdresser that's way out of this guy's league, but you gotta ask the real questions like, does she prefer Minecraft or Roblox? Is she more of a Dolan Dark fan? Or does she like Grande a little better? These are the things that matter when you're trying to choose someone to spend the rest of your life with. She said, I'm 24. How would you do that? Then you said, I need more data. Yeah, Steve, the man has standards, okay? He's not trying to get with a broad that's only bringing a capped five gigabyte data plan to the table. He wants a sweet young lady that's willing to give him that unlimited data plan. What is data? Well, Steve, since you asked, data, according to Google, is uh, a facts and statistics collected for reference or analysis, uh, Steve. When you're talking to a woman, let me give you this, because sure. you're going to be okay. Quit collecting data on a woman. Bad advice, Steve. Don't don't listen to him, Albert. All right. You wait for that girl who's willing to give you that unlimited play. Unlimited play. play. Unlimited play. Unlimited play. Unlimited play. Now, I gotta ask you one other thing. Did you tell this woman that she was a seven and getting downgraded to a four because of her trivia knowledge? I just want to be completely transparent. I mean, what does Hollywood teach us growing up? Girls love assholes that treat them like shit, and Albert is simply a student of this philosophy, right? You start her off with a seven, which brings her down a couple of pegs, and as soon as she starts warming up to you again, boom! Three more points get knocked off because she's never going to be an asset to you on Wednesday Trivia Night at Applebee's. Yeah, but women are really smart people. And trivia has nothing to do with it. You sit tight, man. After the break, uh, we got to see what happened to Charlie next. You don't want to miss this, so come on back. Now, like most television syndicated for YouTube, instead of like uploading a whole segment, they break it apart into several clips and upload them all differently under slightly different titles to increase maximum view potential and to give them a few more opportunities to ask for that subscribe. Don't just sit there. Go get it. Press subscribe or click on this list and you can see all the amazing videos you want. Press it. Press it. Press it. Press it. Press, 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 press it. Ducky Grandma! Press it. The fat guy said I would need more data. Bruh, I'm dead. Now, Charlie. Welcome to the show. We sent you, you to dinner with Jules. Yes, Let's sir. Let's see how it went. Okay, so Charlie's up, and before we see how it went, I want to make a little prediction. I think that probably before they even get halfway through dinner, the sexual energy is so high that they have to sneak off to the bathroom to have a quick shag. Now, I'm not always right about these kind of predictions, but I'm never wrong. I'm Charlie. I'm Jules. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. You might be finished before I get mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You have like really pretty eyes and your dimples are really cute too. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And you have an awesome smile too. Oh. So far, so good. I mean, it's not hard to tell by watching this that the sexual tension in the air is palpable. Do you have any ex-boyfriends? Oh um, yeah. I do. Awesome. Asking the tough questions. Oh. Wait. Wait, what? No, bullshit. There's no way that that wasn't edited out. They're, they absolutely went off to the bathroom for a shag. There's not a chance they could have gotten through that without a little bit of release. Penis? <laughs> Charlie, you did a nice thing. You were complimentary of the woman. Yes, sir. That's a good thing. I'm sorry to break it to you, Steve, but you gotta get with the times, bro. It is 2018. You can't compliment women right now? Are you kidding me? Charlie's one more, you have a nice dress, away from getting hashtag me too'd on Twitter and fired from his fucking day job at GameStop. Why did you tell this woman that she looked like your ex? <laughs> oh. 
Well, I was trying to compliment her and make her feel special, and I was... I just wanted her to be happy. That is first date 101 right there, gentlemen. You want your lady to feel special? Compare it to your ex. Do you have any ex-boyfriends? Um, I do. Awesome. Women pay attention to all of that stuff. They, they be on it, man. Yeah. Why, why did you take the bread from her plate? Did you like the bread? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I have. I got I've seen like a couple of my friends that are couples, they share things and it's like romantic. I mean, the man's just trying to do what he sees other cute couples doing. Sure, it's a staged first date for the Steve Harvey show, but for Christ's sake, let the man eat her bread. Well, Fletcher, it's your turn. I wanted to see how you'd react when he encountered with an attractive woman at a bar. Hey. <laughs> uh, hi. I'm Fletcher. Uh, hey, uh, I'm Brianna. Is that? Your natural hairstyle? My natural hairstyle? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you drinking? It's a Cosmo, actually. I like yeah. Cosmos. Are you into astrology at all? Or? Not at all. Oh, no, okay. not into it. Hey, <laughs> I'm Fletcher. Nice to meet you. What do you is that your hair? Is that your natural hairstyle? I'm so, I, what do you? I'm the can't stop smiling. What do you? Is that a Cosmo? I, I'm so, I can't. Is this awkward for you? I'm sweating in here, but I can't. Oh, the smile is just. Oh, it's too much. I can't. Let me order you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Where'd you grow up? How old are you? Anything you like to do? Is this your first stop? You going out later? Or... I'm sorry, I'm asking too many questions. <laughs> oh, yikes, Fletcher. <laughs> yikes. Did you want to get my number? Said no girl ever <laughs> after being hit on like that. You have a lovely night. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that awkward. <sighs> you set up there and asked this girl, was that your natural hair? <laughs> you... You asked her that? I mean, you know, she's an African-American woman. You know, it was nice, long, curly hair. I just, I wasn't sure. Before I complimented it, I had to confirm. Steve, that's a little game Fletcher likes to play called weave or no weave, all right? You can't compliment someone's hair unless you know if it's real or fake. I'm not going to let y'all kill this boy. <laughs> You're not going to do it. <laughs> when you don't know what to say, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing, dog. I was beginning to wonder if Steve was gonna live up to this chief love operator title, but finally he's given out some real advice they can use. When you're out with a girl and you're feeling like a little anxious or nervous, you just sit there in awkward silence. Long, drawn out, awkward silence. Nothing has been proven to get you laid quicker. I'm gonna help these guys. Hopefully, hopefully, they'll redeem themselves right after the break. Oh, I'm certain that they will. Penis? Say hello to Brianna. Oh, what do you like to eat? I love Mexican food. Oh, same. I love Mexican too. Oh, maybe I can come along. Yeah, definitely. Okay. The progress is simply incredible. Steve truly is the chief love operator. Because you need to put a little bit of swag in it. Okay. So what you should say is, if that's your favorite restaurant, I have an idea. How about you turn me on to your favorite restaurant and you allow me to pay for your meal at that restaurant? It sends a message that you are willing to take yeah. care of her. No, it doesn't. You just sound weird. Listen, paying for the girl's dinner when you're out is fantastic. I love chivalry as much as the next girl or guy, but you don't usually include that in your ask. Hey, girl, you trying to let me take you to McD's? I got a $5 bill that says you got three double cheeseburgers with your name on it. In the software development, I don't know if you're familiar, but I'm switching I don't gears. know much about it, but oh, yeah, it's, it's really cool. really interested in it, so. What are you working on right now? Right now, I'm just, you know. I make a lot of money. And I'm, <laughs> I'm working towards making a lot of money. That's okay. what I'm doing. Wow, <laughs> Steve. All girls are gold diggers. Am I right? Up top. Charlie Albert, listen to me. You got to understand a few things about women. Number one, they're precious. You have to treat them that way. They are the possessors of certain things that we have to have in order to live and survive in this world. They are the only possessors of it. Uh, what? What about, what about gay people, though? How do they survive? I'm so confused. They want to feel secure, they want to feel respected, and they want to feel loved. Yeah. That's your job. Are you seeing this? 
are you are you taking notes? Respect, security, and love. Three things I don't know anything about in a relationship from you. I'm one more insult away from drafting divorce papers. And of course you have, yeah, and of course now you have nothing to say. Now you have nothing to fuck Steve's got that old school game. Us young guys have to be more careful with that. I'll pay the bill nowadays with all the feminists around. Laughing until I'm crying emoji. <laughs> you're, not, you're not wrong. I was Steve Harvey. was my husband and dad all at the same time. Don't we all? <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you, Steve Harvey for having such a beautiful mustache. I always appreciate you guys' time. Listen, if you want a little bit more Leon Lush, press subscribe, press it, press it, press it. And then don't forget to put on your swim trunks and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys uh, in, in the next one, I guess. Bye. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah.